Hello and welcome. My name is Biagio Mazza, and I'm pastoral associate at St. Sabina's Parish in Belton, Missouri. And welcome to the series known as Do You Know? Today, the Do You Know question that we're addressing is, October is the month of the Holy Rosary. What is the history of the rosary? Where did it come from? In October, the entire month is dedicated to the Holy Rosary. And on October the 8th, we celebrate the Feast of the Holy Rosary. The typical and traditional origin of the Rosary is that supposedly Mary handed that, uh, the Virgin Mary handed the Holy Rosary to Saint Dominic, who lived from 1170 to 1221, and that he and his religious order, the Dominicans, actually promoted the prayer of the Rosary and it soon caught on and everybody began to pray it. However, the history of the Rosary has a long historical development. Um, jumping off of St. Paul's advice that all Christians are to pray always, uh, um, people started to, the tradition developed of using the Psalms as a means of praying consistently. Uh, when the monastic tradition developed, uh, uh, the Psalms became the focus of structuring their whole day. Today, we actually know and still refer to that kind of structure as the Liturgy of the Hours, in which the 150 Psalms are recited or actually chanted in the monastic tradition um, in a structured pattern over a period of time. Now, there are many other people who wanted to also join the monks in praying always. However, they were often hampered by the fact of either uh, their inability to read, which was very common in, uh, in the ancient world, as well as uh, their inability to memorize all the Psalms, especially if you didn't have a manuscript or, or uh, could read or write. Uh, as a result, what started to happen is that the common practice became that uh, uh, everyday Christians were using uh, their memorized prayers instead of the Psalms to pray just like the monks did. And therefore, uh, they would structure just as the monks did 150 memorized prayers, usually using the Our Father and the Hail Mary, 150 of those memorized prayers that would then follow a kind of a sequence the way the monks were reciting the 150 Psalms. And they would keep track of how they were, uh, how many prayers they were saying by usually either pebbles in their, in their um, uh, pockets or sometimes a knot tied on a rope. Eventually, what, what develops is that um, a, a series of beads are strung together, uh, and we soon have the, what, what is traditionally known as the rosary. Um, and they use the beads, they're usually a set of 50 beads strung together. They use the beads to keep track of the various uh, prayers and the number of prayers they had said. Eventually, too, what develops is uh, as the prayers are being recited, there's a call for or an attempt to meditate on the events in the life of Jesus and Mary as a way of focusing on the prayer and the imitation of both Mary and Jesus in the Christian life. Uh, and so the current practice of the rosary uh, with its focus on various mysteries in the life of Mary and Jesus comes out of that tradition of using the rosary as a means of meditating on the gospel events and so on. So it would be interesting to ask yourself as we um, speak of this uh, or reflect on this month of the rosary, it would be interesting to ask yourself, how do you use the rosary? Is it something in your life? And if it isn't, uh, uh, what form of connection do you make in your prayer life with the events in the life of Jesus connecting to the Gospels? So I hope this has helped you understand a bit more about the history of the rosary and why we call October the month of the Holy Rosary. Thank you.